Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seam Lund, and in this video, we're going to talk about Jacked Grandpa. <laughs> we're going to talk about a 72 year old Chinese bodybuilder who reportedly looks like he's 30 years old. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it. All right, this is the article that was published in the Men's Health. 72 year old bodybuilder shares training and diet secrets that keep him as fit as a 30 year old. So his name is uh, Xin Min Yang, and uh, he's from China. So yeah, he's uh, 72 years old, and uh, yeah, he definitely looks very fit for his age, muscular, lean. A 72-year-old Chinese bodybuilder claims exercising every day and sticking to a diet plan that includes eating six to eight eggs for breakfast are behind his youthful looks. Bodybuilder Xin Min Yang started bodybuilding in 1984. He says that in the following 37 years, he has exercised daily, which he says has contributed to him having a normal blood pressure, normal blood lipids, and the bone density of a 30-year-old. You son of a bitch. There's actually an older video about the same guy, uh, Xin Min Young, from 2018, that already looked at it, his uh, exercise and the diet habits. So I think we'll just you know, play for it and hear from uh, the horse's mouth, so to say, hear from what he has to say about it. Yeah, the first thing, um, well, I wouldn't say that he looks like uh, 30 years old, the internet, you know, overblows things, uh, but I would say that he maybe looks, yeah, for now when he's 70, 72 years, he would look maybe like 60 years old for sure, like he de definitely has like 10 to 15 years younger uh, looks to him. So he's definitely not like 30 years old, but yeah, regardless, the bone density thing, uh, I do believe that because bone density is built primarily from resistance exercise, uh, weighted exercise, that's the best thing to increase your bone density. And uh, your bone density is actually one of the, you know, one of the most important things as you get older, you uh, have this stronger uh, resilience against the falling, you're, you're less exposed to hip fractures, etc. Because your muscle mass, your bone density, all those things go down with age. And as a result of that, you start to experience uh, accelerated aging because you have less insulin sensitivity, less bone density, less strength. You have a lower metabolic rate, you have higher blood sugar, higher cholesterol levels, higher blood pressure because of having not enough muscle mass. And doing resistance training is the only thing that essentially uh, maintains that muscle mass. So, uh, you know, he's been doing it for 37 years. Uh, but, you know, even if you even if you start in your 50s, it's still possible to build muscle. And it's more important to do so uh, than it is in your 20s or 30s. Do it! Uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, misconception about the body weight or BMI, that just having a higher BMI doesn't necessarily mean that you're unhealthy or that you're obese. So most bodybuilders, even if you are, even if you have like a little bit of extra muscle mass because of training or something, uh, then your BMI is going to be above what is considered normal or what is considered uh, normal body weight. So yeah, like <laughs> the BMI is pretty outdated in, in a sense. It's much better to look at, yeah, your body fat percentage, your muscle mass, lean muscle mass and your biomarkers in a sense. If those things are in check, then it doesn't matter really what your BMI is. Uh, because yeah, like the weight to height ratio, it doesn't take into account the muscle mass. Yeah, that's I, I agree with that as well. The circadian rhythms uh, are important. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's much easier for your body to stay healthy if you are following the optimal circadian rhythm. Going to bed around the same time and waking up in the morning, uh, preferably like around sun uh, sunrise, because then you would also start these uh, circadian clocks. And what we have found uh, from recent studies is that uh, the circadian clock system has a huge impact on the speed of your biological aging, so to say. If the clocks are out of sync, and uh, or they're damaged, then uh, your your aging is gonna be accelerated. Uh, whereas uh, if you uh, have them synchronized and working properly, then uh, you're gonna age. You know, <laughs> at best you're gonna age at a normal rate. But you know, chances are you can slow down the process uh, because of that. So this is the diet. Then his breakfast. <laughs> Have you 
<laughs> so he eats, he eats like a basically a basic bodybuilding bro diet, uh, chicken breast, eggs, <laughs> some uh, vegetables, etc. I'm not sure he, he didn't mention uh, in the article nor in the video about what he eats for lunch or such. But I would imagine that it's something similar, just high protein, uh, maybe like a bit of more carbs and uh, not, you know, overly high in calories. So, you know, obviously that, that is just what has been uh, found to work a lot for uh, bodybuilders. You know, the bodybuilders have following this diet for uh, decades. And uh, we know that it yields, you know, beneficial results for body composition, higher protein intake. And a higher protein intake uh, for his age isn't also not going to be uh, that detrimental to aging. Like there's a misconception that protein accelerates aging. Uh, but when you, when you look at the studies, it's actually that uh, the protein intake can actually protect against uh, some of these similar age-related diseases like muscle loss, uh, bone frailty, uh, metabolic syndrome because of that. Protein rocks. But I think a lot of people are asking like whether or not he's natty or like is he taking steroids or not. So because, you know, it is very hard to maintain such a good physique at his age in 72 years old. Is he natural? Well, I think that, uh, well, given that he's been doing the bodybuilding for a long time, it wouldn't be impossible to be natural. Like, uh, I think that if you are training every day for 37 years and you're eating a clean diet, then it would be pretty uh, achievable to have like a such a body composition even in your 72 years old uh, because like he's not a huge guy like um, you know this the, if if you were to swap the uh, face with uh, someone who is 30 years old then uh, i think that most people will say hey that's a natural body because of the way he looks the only thing is the age that says like hey maybe he's not but uh, you know i think that he's been doing it for so long he's built up such amount of uh, like muscle mass he's definitely smaller than he was in his uh, you know 30s or 40s um and he has lost muscle, so to say, but he hasn't lost it completely because of the training stimulus is still there. In this picture, he's 1998, uh, like 20 years ago. So he's, he was in his like 50s, uh, like the master's division. Uh, here, he looks a bit more juiced up, so to say, for someone in his 50s. Uh, I think that it could, could still be uh, considered natural, but maybe, you know, obviously... Maybe he's on like TRT or something. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Taking a TRT for someone who is 72 years old, it may actually improve the quality of his life and uh, health as, as well because of the increased in testosterone, increased muscle mass, increased uh, bone density and those sort of things. And for sure, he uh, maybe has taken something in his past and now he's on like TRT or something like that. All right, let me know in the comments what you think about this guy. Is he natty or not? <laughs> what do you think about his physique? Uh, are you going to keep training? What are you going to do in terms of your aging? Are you going to do it in your later years? And uh, yeah, click the like and subscribe for future videos as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.